good morning. This is Linda with uh, LL Creation Studio this morning. And I have a couple of things I wanted to share with you today. I have this new 6x9 uh, journal. Uh, her name is Reagan. Um, I was watching a movie the other night and this real pretty girl, uh, her name was Reagan. And I said, well, oh boy, that, that is really a cute name for a girl. So, and this is a very exotic journal, and and I just wanted to uh, give her a different name, and so it's Reagan. But before I start going through with her, I wanted to show you what Craft Text is. Craft Text, like I said, is like leather, but here is a big strip of it, and this is a white. Naturally, you can see it's white. It's sort of rougher on this side, and it's smoother on this side but you can see that you can cut it but you can't heart you, you can't tear it uh, you can wrinkle it uh, you can wash it um, I mean and you can make it into different kind of shapes and this is what uh, these past few journals have been made out of and so I just wanted to share that with you this is what it is and uh, it is a very durable man-made fabric. Now my husband got me for saying man-made uh, so I mean the gender correct way to say that is I don't know it, it's a uh, human made I guess is the way to say it but I don't really care about being political correct but Reagan is a uh, another journal made out of craft text and um uh, you will see it inside and out and her tie is this uh, black sorry silk uh, it's just loose so you can just undo it and what it is here is several layers of paint I painted it um, and in between each layer I have sealed it I started off using the uh, distress uh, ink pads and I was trying to get this beautiful burgundy color and I, I hope I did achieve it uh, and then I thought that she was too plain for the papers that I had already selected to go inside so I did all of this uh, metallic paste here on the front and it's like a uh, I don't know like a, a an industrial design it, it's not a uh, anything but that there are several butterflies in it and then there's some just different designs that I did and then uh, the I sewed it all the way around the whole cover uh, it has three signatures there is the uh, it has a two inch spine and the back has the same and you can see the butterflies and other things uh, poking you know with the metallic paste that I did she looks like leather totally like a real rich uh, burgundy leather and then on the side uh, you can see I did dangly uh, jewels coming off of uh, clips so I beaded these jewels and a charm here this is a silver charm that came off of one of my old necklaces and um, all of these are glass beads uh, and cultured pearls and silver uh, stones uh, silver charms and so this is uh, she's six by nine and as you can see she's quite chunky uh, she's got 148 pages uh, she has on the inside uh, up against the spine is the natural linen that's been frayed and gives this uh, worn look that goes along with this whole thing that I was trying to create here and she's got these big uh, ticket tabs coming out she's got lace she's got fabric and all kinds of interesting things um, that I wanted like an old vintage 
things. She's got things coming out of the some fabric, some ribbon, some sari silk, some uh, another ribbon. But you can see that she is pretty chunky. So that's enough about all of the outside. So let's take a look at Reagan inside. And she's got this fabric here. And it is, uh, it was just a fabric from a pack. It looks very similar to, uh, let me get it over there. Um, you can see the sewing all the way around. And it looks like a Tim Holtz fabric, but I don't think that it is. And you got this big diagonal pocket that was, uh, Deck has this deckle edge to it and then here in the pocket you have an envelope that has been uh, distressed around the edges and then you have this real pretty card that you can actually write and send to somebody if you wanted to or you could journal on it or you can decoupage on it uh, and the envelope also and then you can just keep it here in this big pocket so uh, here you have some of that green uh, reusable uh, old file cabinets that I've been using uh, to create uh, the ephemera folders, the pocket folders. And I just, like I said, I just love that color for uh, fall. Did some little stamping here, and then here is a six cents uh, airmail true. Uh, stamp there and this is cardstock and then you do have some of the uh, Tim Holtz paper uh, here some of his collaged paper and then over here you have a big pocket uh, and you have uh, all on cardstock uh, I don't know where this ephemera comes from but I did like it but I've had I cut it out a long time ago and then you know, I've got to think of another method of keeping up with who all's what. I've got so many names, though, in my computer files. But anyway, this is uh, one of my paintings that I did. And I was watching Artie Mays uh, do this. Uh, she does it with the uh, ink pads, distressed ink pads, and some gesso, and then a little bit of stamping. And I did this... Uh, Oh, several weeks ago and then I cut them out into these journaling cards some of them are tags but I wanted the fall colors and then this is a, a large uh, it was a scrap piece of paper uh, from a 12 by 12 that I put in here and you can write or decoupage on that and that all just fits into this great big pocket and then here you, I clipped it on here just to keep it there. You have a little tag, uh, a little lavender tag, and it's got some blue ribbon in it. And I did these reinforcers. I stained them with Distress ink, and then it just sort of slips right in here in this little tuck spot, which is a banter, a banner uh, thing that I cut out of one of the paper stashes. Then you have your regular beautiful coffee staining paper in here. This is again part of that coffee tea staining. It really has a different feel whenever you put it outside to uh, dry in the sun. And whenever you mix the uh, coffee and, and uh, tea together. Uh, now this group I mixed a little bit of silver, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of silver acrylic paint and shook it up. And I think that's what made it have this beautiful patina here. And here's the back side. And then you have this linen paper. This is supposedly a linen stationary paper. Uh, paper. Uh, I decoupaged uh, a little bit of scraps here and some of my other fabric that was left over. And some coffee stained uh, tracing paper. And then this is another type of paper that I ordered off of Amazon. It comes in a huge roll. It's like a packing paper or a wrapping paper. It has a totally different uh, weight and texture. But again, I love the color. Uh, it's a beautiful green, a very soft green. And then I put this uh, pocket edging here on the, 
on the corner there to give it a little bit more weight. Did some stamping here and another one of those uh, coffee tea stained papers. This is a cardstock here. And then you got a pocket on the back, a coffee stain cardstock. So you can see the difference in the coffee staining and the mixture right here, the two different colors. And then here is a little tuck spot with a one of uh, the tags that I made. Um, just put some uh, paper over it. It was uh, coffee stained on that side and then I edged it. It's got this ribbon there. Stamping. Tim Holtz paper. And this is one of those uh, tags, uh, tabs. And what it is is those, you know, in some of our paper packs you get the tickets and each one of these is a ticket. Each one of the tabs is a ticket and it, it I did it on uh, cardstock and then these are those little copper uh, clips and then I did the uh, beading and you have the little red beads and then the little silver spacers and then the cultural pearl off of this and it just goes right back in here you can move them around anywhere you want it that's why I put them on the clips. Number one, I like those copper clips a lot. And I got those from Amazon. And then here is a big pocket uh, with a little... I'll get to that in a minute. I'm sorry. Here is two... Or a tuck spot here. And then I just decorated it with a fabric on the outside. And then on the big pocket you have some of this real heavy... Uh, paper that I, I scrunched up a little bit and then uh, that green uh, file folder tab right here I put on there and I put this in there and I'm going to start using a lot more of this paper because I got quite a bit of it from my art stash that I've got and you this is fabulous absolutely you can't beat it the weight and, and the way that you can you know this is the rougher side that's why I did the rough where you could see the pattern and then this is the real smooth side it's Strathmore paper and and I cut it out into this big tag type thing but you can decoupage on this and it is just absolutely phenomenal because it will hold any weight and then you can just put it back in your uh, journal like that and you can have a piece of art of your own that you've made in your journal and all it is is glue and uh, if, if you purchase any type of journal for me if you want uh, some scrap papers uh, to, to do start your decoupaging and all you have to do is ask me and I will include that in there with your journal anytime because uh, I have baskets and baskets of scrap little scrap paper and I'm trying to uh, use it as much as I can but as you see most of my things that I do I don't do enough uh, within a journal to to relieve my loads of scrap paper so if you need any scrap paper to decoupage uh, whenever you get a journal let me know and I will add some in there for you so this is one of those ephemeral folders and this is the outside and I made this with the uh, one of Tim Holtz uh, heavy cardstock and then on the inside you have one two three and a side pocket so you got four pockets on a side so that's eight right here you had two and you have two over here so that is ten pockets just in this one folder and within that folder you have all kinds of little cards that you can write on or you can tear up and, and decoupage with and then in here oh look I just fell in love with this guy I mean here I am turning it the wrong way again this deer he is so pretty and then you have a 
a little envelope that has a little tag type thing in it, card stock, and you can also decoupage all over this. And then uh, you have the little corner pocket right there on that side. And then on this side you have another really pretty card stock. Now this is the card stock that I print a lot of things out on on my printer. And it has this pattern, slight pat. there it is, slight pattern on this side and this side that I print on. But I mean you can write on it, it's just not blank paper anymore, which I like. And then this one you have this beautiful folder that you can write on. It's a nice heavy card stock also. And then you have this. I don't know whose this is that I printed out on that card stock. And then on the slant here you have another one of these which is two card stocks glued together. I just wanted that color to add some color and so I took it and glued it on the back of that one. And then you do have a stone here. I mean another fabric and fabric. This is that uh, cotton fabric that I have, that heavy cotton fabric. And then you have another copper clip and you have a little charm hanging off I think that, yeah, Inspire. And then you have these little silver beads, silver spacers, and then the ruby glass stones again coming down from the copper clip. And it just goes back on that uh, fabric right there. And then on the back side, you have another big envelope, some more of that golden uh, cotton fabric. And then in the big envelope you have another craft paper that has this woman on the on this side that you can write on rounded corners and she goes back in there and then here in this top angle pocket is this beautiful picture of the flower and it gives you a description of what it is and everything and then on this side, you have it, it's clipped right on. Uh, it's an envelope, and it just has this little uh, card stock. This was supposed to be an envelope, and I just cut it to make it a card that fit right in in the uh, envelope. And then it just clips right on here. You know, most of the times I glue them on, but this time I just clipped it on. And then you see all of uh, Tim Holtz's paper again. And this just went right underneath there, or right here. A heavy card stock. Some stamping of some leaves falling on this uh, linen paper, stationary paper. Coffee stain. Up against, you can see the uh, coffee tea stain here with a little bit of silver paint in it. And here again you can see the contrast of the two colors. A little uh, tab of a ticket. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, this really turned out a nice print. More of the green wrapping paper and some stamping and some edging to give it some color to break it up. The other side of the tracing paper, another tab, and another one of those special coffee tea staining. And then here is a big pocket, the other side of the big pocket. Uh, see we're still in the first signature with all of this. One of the ones that I did by hand painting on the card stock, on, well no this is on the uh, Strathmore Heavy paper, art paper, and then you have that writing space, and you have another one in here. You have a little bit of fabric and some stamping, and I started adding some of that masking tape. Uh, you know, 
Tim Holtz paper has it, but it's just not as, and this is masking tape right here that I printed, uh, sta stamped on to add a more vintage look to it. Because his, his is, and here's more of what I've added. And then you have this beautiful white card stock that has been stamped. These beautiful fall stamps. And then this is one of those silk leaves that I glued on there with some more of that masking tape. See, this is Tim Holtz masking tape. It looks worn already, and here it is here. But I wanted more. As, as you have your journal, it will start uh, aging like this one. But that paper is so nice and heavy. Another big pocket uh, here. More masking tape all the way around and stamping, special stamping. And then inside you got one of those hand painted ones. Uh, thank you, Artie Mays. That was a great idea. And it was fun to do. It was very relaxing to make those. And then I added this great big piece of paper. I mean, this is a 5x7 journal paper that I had sitting on my desk so I just added it in here as you're writing and that's how big these pockets are that 5 by 7 just goes in there beautifully tracing paper which I love the sound of it that's why I add them in there and I like the looks of things through it another tag that I made uh, uh, I don't know whose paper that was but these, all of these tags that I did are on that Strathmore Heavy uh, watercolor paper. And some beautiful pink ribbon in there. The pink and the green. Some stamping. More of the masking tape. And then I like to edge, as you see, this paper uh, with another paper. And then whenever you're turning the page, it just gives you something substantial to to turn it with and then here is a coffee tea stain a map and you got another ticket and here is the stone for that uh, silver and a real pretty lilac cut glass bead and silver and then the ruby little ruby there and again it's off of the copper and again, you can move these anywhere you want them. I just put them on the tags, on the tabs. And then another big tag that, that I did by hand. And you can see the different layers, which Artie uh, Mays did uh, on one of her videos. And you just stamp, and uh, it's just layer after layer after layer after layer. And then I did uh, a little bit of fabric just to be a little bit different there. A little fall looking fabric. Stamping. A lot of room and a lot of places to uh, journal or decoupage. A large policy envelope that you can put anything in and then move it around or you can glue it down to a page. I didn't want to take up one of your writing pages because you can also journal on these front and back and then put something in there. A stamp. A little bit of fabric. Same fabric as was in the tag. A pocket here. Uh, a double pocket here. You have the the file folder, which you're, I think you're going to see quite a bit of that green right now because until I get it out of my system. And then this cute little tag with the ribbon. More fabric edging here with a little bit of stamping on this uh, stationary linen paper. You have so many different weights and so many feels of paper in this one. It's just, I think, amazing. I'll, you know, I'm a p paper fanatic, so if, if 
you think I'm crazy, I guess, because I love so much paper. I love to touch it. I love to, to hear that sound whenever you're turning it. And I love how all of this just comes out, you know, whenever you coffee or tea stain or do both, how it just comes out always a beautiful pattern all on its own. It's just, I'm so appreciative of, of the little things, I guess, in art and craft. And I think that's why I got so hooked on doing journals is because of all of the paper that I get to deal with. And here is a large envelope here. And it has a, a special treatment here and another one of those silk leaves. They're so pretty the way that they colored them. And they're multicolors for fall. And this again is one of Tim Holtz fabrics so you know it's sturdy looks like somebody drew underneath that just a clip on again uh, glued these together uh, to give you something bright and cheerful to work with Looks like a little bit of marbling effect there and a stamp. I guess I really appreciate something like this is because as a, used to be an, uh, an artist that is really hard to come up with something like that that looks so natural uh, on your own. Uh, that's why I really appreciate it. Okay, here is another Tim Holtz heavy paper, and I got a, another. I added this uh, when I was away from those copper clips, but it's just as pretty. It's a big clip, and this is another charm that was off of. Uh, this is the charm that was off of one of my necklaces, I think. And so it is a silver charm, and then the cultural pearls, and then the little rubies hang off of this one. And you can see the owl perfectly on this ticket. A lot of leaves again falling. And here is another one of those green wrapping papers. And I put the pocket over here on this side with that deer that I said I just love the how soft they look. Another one of those cards that I purchased off to Amazon. It's a nice uh, card. And then another one of these that I don't know who did it. Okay, another one of those big pockets. Tim Holtz paper. A lot of masking tape going on. Another one of those. Another tag that I did from watching Artie Mays' video. And then here is a piece of coffee stain, tea stain paper that was done that day that they were out in the sun. And this group had the gold paint a little bit of the gold paint added. And then you have that big white spot right there. It is just beautiful. But anyway, I folded it up, added the whole thing in here for you to enjoy. More of this. Another one of those leaves. Most of this paper has been Tim Holtz throughout, hadn't it? Yeah, it was one of his paper packs. Another uh, ticket with this little uh, charm hanging down that I made. Most of it has been the pearls and the rubies and the, and the uh, silver. And then inside this big pocket 
you have a little handmade junk journal here that's been sewn down the center that you can just keep your bullet points in or you've got some cardstock, coffee stain, paper and then I put a little cover on it, a little Tim Holtz paper cover and did some stamping and then another tag that uh, I made uh, off of one of my coffee stain that side and then some uh, sorry silk and then another one of those cards that I purchased off of Amazon they had really nice designs and colors to it so a lot of things to take out and uh, use any way that you want to and then more of that wrapping paper this is fabulous to decoupage with I'm just saying then a stamp and then some lace just beautiful paper some of that uh, file folder, more fabric, little tuck spot up there with this beautiful butterfly. Then you got a pocket here. Another one of those. Boy, I put a lot of these in this one journal, didn't I? Hmm. I was extra generous that day. Double pockets. Three. Now one, two, three pockets here. You've got a nice card there. You've got a little one and this little envelope looking card. It has the seal on it. And then this one should have gone right there. And then on this side you have the same number of pockets. And here is another tag that I made with a little green ribbon. Here I'll put it out right now. These, this one. this big one I don't think I had anything small enough for these up there at the top maybe you do and you can see where it was bound here with this our this is Irish linen thread get that off of Amazon there's different kinds of linen wax thread and Irish Irish is the best. I've tried them all and this is my absolute favorite. And here's another one of these big ones and then a big We're almost to the end. I love that uh, stamp. And the number stamp. The back side of that pocket, another one of mine that I covered with some paper. And another one of those carts. Wow. And this washi tape, you can write on it. And this is the back, which has the same paper. And you have another envelope with a card in it. So I don't know how many. I didn't count these, but you must have at least six or eight or more of these cards in there. 
and this is Reagan again very chunky because of all of the uh, Tim Holtz card stock in there and the ephemera and all of that but she's got a good feel she feels this like the finest leather uh, she's got just a little bit of sheen she's got just a little bit worn look here going on uh, you know like you have your hands on it and then she's got a lot of designs that you can look and see uh, industrial type designs and like I said she's 148 pages uh, she'll be up on Etsy uh, in a day or so uh, I'm sure and do check out I've got it I'm gonna list it down there but you're more than welcome to go and check out my new home page on my Etsy site and I am trying to build up my uh, Instagram site having a little bit of trouble there I had a private one and then I converted that over there uh, underneath my name uh, it has more of the journals and, and then the other one uh, now that I've got two I got one at LL Creation Studio and one under Linda Dale so now uh, I can't upload any videos of the journals on LL Creation Studio they're all sitting over there on Linda Dale so I'm gonna have to work on that and figure that out but I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing Reagan today and I hope you enjoyed uh, finding out more about uh, craft text you know I can't recommend it enough uh, I do get it I know somebody's gonna ask me I get it off of Amazon that's the best place to, to get it uh, Michaels and Hobby Lobby doesn't carry it and uh, Joanne does carry uh, some of it but it's much higher priced than Amazon so and I buy it by the boats so uh, that's what happens but you can take this and make it look just like Reagan and some of the others that I've already done and showed you I mean you can cover it in fabric which I do quite a bit uh, and it's just a very durable uh, product to work with so that was my little note today on craft text and uh, that's craft with a K and text T-E-X. So I thank you for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. The fall weather is here in Louisville and it is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, if you wanted to go out and pick pumpkins or anything like that or take a hike, uh, this is the perfect weather here for that. And my husband's trying to get me out of the house and I don't know if I want to do that yet or not. I've got other work that I must do here so we'll see but the weather is beautiful and i hope your weather is the same as what i was getting to so have a good day talk to you later bye